Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me today. Uh, welcome to the channel, uh, or welcome back to the channel if you have uh, been here before. Um, today I thought I'd take a little break from the kitchen and uh, food video and uh, talk about the plant-based foods that I eat uh, every day. Um, I think a picture's worth a thousand words or just sharing what you're doing is better than just telling people what they should eat and what they should do and I just show what I do. And when I say every day, it's not 100% literal. Like I'm not saying that I eat every one of these things seven days a week, 365 days a year. So, but these are things that I definitely include, most of them six, five or six times a week, if not seven times a week. And it's just basically, I like to tell you what I'm eating because it'll show you that uh, if you focus on eating the things that you feel like are good for your body and just putting those in every day and being regular about that kind of crowds out all the other stuff. So um, fruit, fruit is always a big part of uh, my diet. It was probably a little bit more when I was in the tropics because, duh, I'm in the tropics and I literally, everywhere I went, there were just stacks of mangoes, stacks of papayas, um, stacks of pineapple, you know, just, I could probably walk into my old market right now and get like six or seven different types of fruits. Not quite as abundant here, but I still get my mangoes and stuff. I get a papaya, you know, every week or so. I don't, don't eat them as much, but... The one that I've really gotten on to is the berries because the berries are probably the healthiest of all the fruits uh, due to that just bright pigmentation to them. I try to always keep a big bag of uh, frozen blueberries in my freezer and I generally try to get a cup, a cup of them every single day. So I'm always going to eat that fruit. Uh, greens. Um, greens I tend to get through, well I don't tend to, I get them through just a few sources. I either make, make big salads, I like to steam collard greens, and I like to make big green smoothies. All three where I can get like lots of greens in at one time. And the greens are definitely, definitely something that I have at least six or seven times a week. Uh, legumes. Legumes are a daily for me as well. And as I've mentioned before, you know, to kind of keep from having to fool with them every day, I cook them. Uh, I cook three days worth at a time. I buy them dried. Sometimes I say I buy in bulk, but I'll generally just buy little one pound bags for $2.40 or whatever. Soak them overnight, cook them the next day. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the beans. I eat the beans every day. I eat grains. I don't eat, a, I don't eat probably that many servings of them. I'll, uh, tend to make brown rice uh, once during the week. I'll usually eat uh, oats several times. Uh, in fact, I just had some oatmeal this morning, had some uh, overnight oats yesterday, quinoa. But I don't do a huge, I don't do a whole lot of the grains. Um, another one big is nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds have become my primary source of fat. Um, I do like an avocado from time to time, but um, I like the, the, the monounsaturated fat and the polyunsaturated fat that the nuts and the seeds offer. They're full of protein, good healthy fats, good fiber, and they help regulate your appetite. And where, let, me, let me explain just a second there. You've got to be, I like to be conscious eating nuts. I'm not talking about sitting down with a bag and just snacking on them. When I eat nuts, I either put a certain amount into a dressing or whatever, or I'll put a certain amount in with my uh, overnight oats. But the point being is I'm making something or I'm measuring out a certain amount of it. I'm not just sitting down there scarfing nuts because no, you don't want to just overdo it on that. Uh, fermented, fermented is so good for our uh, gut microbiome. I try to keep some sauerkraut or kimchi around. Uh, and yeah, it's high in sodium, so you're not using a whole lot. I'll generally put just like a tablespoon with my salad or a tablespoon with whatever bowl that I'm eating for the day, but that fermented is so good for our gut. Um, sprouts. Um, now I sprout, I probably should be a little bit, have a little bit more variety with my sprouts, but I, I, I sprout um, uh, broccoli and I sprout um, lentils. And I try to get, I keep telling you guys, you need to do this. 
Um, it's super, super easy. I've done videos, but you don't need a video on sprouting. Just say, just go right now, go to Google and say how to sprout um, broccoli. And it'll, it's super, super easy. It's not expensive. You can do it right at home. Um, but that bro the, the broccoli sprouts specifically are packed with sulforaphane, which is an antioxidant. And the reason I like the sprouts a lot is the sprouts, uh, the broccoli sprouts have 50 to 100 times more sulforaphane than um, the mature broccoli does. Um, so I try to get those sprouts. I'll use those either in my salads or in my smoothies. I, people ask me how they taste. I don't know how they taste. I'm kind of using them, you know, for the nutrition of them. They don't taste bad when I'm eating them in salads. Um, I see people giving a specific uh, description of them. I don't know if I'd go that far, but uh, good stuff. And I highly recommend it. But like I said, once again, if you just focus on eating the things you should be eating instead of focusing on the things you don't want to eat, I shouldn't say should be eating, what you think you should be eating, um, instead of focusing on avoiding things, you'll find at the end of the day, you've just eaten, uh, you know, you filled yourself up on the, on the good stuff. So anyhow, that's the stuff I try to get, get in on a regular basis. And it's just rent, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and come back and check out some more of my videos. Peace.